Hello and welcome back to Student of the Gun Homeroom. I am your favorite professor, Paul Markle, and today we're going to talk about concealed carry lessons learned, or more lessons learned, or subtitle, have it your way. Uh, we have an incident to talk about. This t incident took place just recently. Uh, the dateline is Monday, April 8th, 2013. I've got my little ch cheat monitor down here. But the title of the story is Burger King Diner Defeats Would-Be Robber by Shooting Him. Yay team. Well, here's the specifics. A father and his family are in a Miami area Burger King around 1 p.m. Just having themselves a Whopper and some fries, right? And uh, in walks a freaking douchebag with a gun, decides he's going to start robbing people. Guy comes up, flashes a gun, says, give me all your goods. Give me your money. What? But it's 1 o'clock in the afternoon in a fast food joint. Who would have ever thought that I would be robbed in the middle of a busy restaurant? Aha, who would have ever thought that? Well, what the dad does is the dad pulls out his gun and he shoots a bad guy, shoots him in the leg. Well, this, unlike what Danny Glover likes to say, just to stop him, uh, he doesn't stop. He flees, gets in a truck, drives away. Police catch him later. Turns out that Homie and his partner are wanted for another robbery. Yes, they're recidivist criminals. That's what criminals do. They, they remain criminals until somebody catches them, stops them, puts them in jail, or, as in this case, puts a bullet into them. Now, the reason we're talking about this is, number one, how many of you folks out there you gun people, you can pro-conceal carry people, talk yourself out of carrying a gun. How many of you do it? Admit it. How many of you thought or you think sometimes, well, I'm going to the uh, grocery store. I'm, we're, I'm just taking the family out for lunch. I'm not looking for trouble. I don't want trouble. Well, the, the point isn't whether you're looking for trouble or whether you want trouble. When you leave out your front door, guess what? The wide open world, you have no idea what's, what you're going to encounter, who you're going to encounter, and what they plan to do. Just as in this case right here. How many of you think that you know it's relatively safe in the middle of the day in a busy place? Most people think, well, I would need a gun if I was out late at night in a secluded area in a dark alley. How often do you go into a dark alley late at night? Well, probably pretty rarely, right? But this wasn't a dark alley late at night, you know. This was the middle of the day in a crowded restaurant full of patrons. And that didn't stop the bad guy from walking in with a gun and saying, give me all your money. All right. So stop talking yourself out of carrying your gun. Just, if you're going to carry it, carry it. If you're not, fantastic. Live with the choices you make and don't. But don't be that sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, depends on what day it is and so forth. You're, you're rolling the dice, brother, and that's not why we carry guns. We don't carry guns because we're gamblers. We carry them because we don't know what's out our front door. When I walk into the store, the restaurant, when I you know cross the parking lot, I don't know who I'm going to encounter. Also, one uh, quick side note with that is uh, he shoots the guy, and it's... The story is kind of vague. It doesn't say what kind of gun. I know you gun people are like, what was it, man? Was it a 40? Was it a 45? Well, if you'd have shot him with a 45, he'd have been leveled and he'd been on the ground and he wouldn't have gotten away. <laughs> but we, shooting people in the leg just to stop them doesn't just to stop them. They keep on going generally. And the good news is this guy was what, from previous lessons, what do you know? This bad guy was a level one. He got shot. Well, actually, he's probably a level two. Uh, he got shot. He received a physical injury, and he's like, whoa, I don't want any more of this. I'm out of here. Now, that physical injury wasn't enough to stop him from doing things. If he had enough gas in the tank to flee the restaurant, get in a getaway vehicle, and drive away with his partner, he probably would have had enough gas to pull out his gun if he'd have been a level three and keep on engaging people. So you need to understand that. Bullets are not magic. If you want to stop bad people from doing bad things to you as quickly as physically and humanly possible, you need to put bullets up in this area right here. This is where bullets generally get people's attention and make them stop doing bad stuff. The area that I can cover with my hand. All the other stuff is just peripheral. Okay? They might get hurt and say, oh, I'm out. I don't want to play anymore. But then again, you don't know that. So... Keep that in mind. So concealed carry lessons learned. Number one, carry your gun. 
all the time. Stop talking yourself out of it. Number two, bullets are not magic. If you want bad guys to actually stop, uh, you need to put bullets up in here, not all over the place. All right. Uh, recommended reading. We're back to recommended reading, and this book is called Real World Survival, What Has Worked For Me. It's by my good friend, Walt Rausch. Now, this book's been out for a while now. It's been out actually since 1998, so you may not be aware of it. Walt Rausch, the author, uh, is a pretty popular uh, gun writer, has been for 20, 30 years. Some of you young guys might not know about Walt Rausch, but Walt Rausch was a Secret Service agent. Uh, he was on, a, I believe it was a, a high-risk fugitive task force. And uh, uh, Walt is one of those old guys who's hard as woodpecker lips. And he's got a lot of things to say about carrying a gun and protecting yourself with a gun and what in happens when you do protect yourself with a gun. So it's called Real World Survival, What Has Worked For Me by Walt Rausch. And we're going to go ahead and put the Amazon link up for you guys. Now, don't forget to check out Student of the Gun Radio. You can go to studentofthegun.com slash radio. Listen to the shows every week. Watch the shows on and for those of you who don't know, you homeroom subscribers, because I know there's lots of you out there. For those of you who don't know, you can go to studentofthegun.com and watch the TV show episodes beginning to end for free. Don't have to have cable or dish or anything. Just go to studentofthegun.com and watch the show. It's that easy. And because we like you, it's free. Now, for all things Student of the Gun, where are you going to go? T-shirts, DVDs, books, all that good stuff. You know, I got kids to feed. Go to studentofthegun.com.